Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here with the XP Gamers and Mod Database. Alright guys, welcome to the beta for Star Trek Armada 3 for Sins of the Solar Empire. Now this one is really a cool mod. Now I'm a huge fan of the Star Trek franchise and these guys have given me the opportunity to beta test. Their upcoming mods can be released this December. December 25th is the current goal and I think they're going to make it because they've been updating this like crazy. So, my plan is to do a kind of let's play of Star Trek Armada 3 as a, from the perspective, let's go ahead and go under the, um, the game setup and get it all set up. Uh, Alright, new game. We'll do a smaller map. Small random. That sounds good. Why not? So, it's going to be me playing the... Federation, the United Federation of Planets, against, let's go here. I love the menus, by the way. And the guys have done a fantastic job with the menus. So the Federation versus the Klingon Empire. And we'll get to show you guys kind of what they've been able to accomplish. We'll put the computer on hard because hell yeah, they're the Klingons, let's throw them on aggressive. Now, this is a total conversion. So they're replacing all the original assets except for I think some of the the actual planets and some of the solar systems, but all the ships, all the sound effects are Star Trek, the all from the franchise. It's so cool. All right, so let's load it up. Now, this isn't the only Star Trek mod for Sins of the Solar Empire. There are two. There's Sacrifice of Angels and Armada 3. And they're very different games. I've gotten to play them both. Sacrifice of Angels is... Hmm, how's best to say it? Well, the models are definitely different. I recommend trying both of them out for sure. Sacrifice of Angels has kind of a faster paced ship speed for all their ships, which you would think, okay, that's a good thing. But in some ways it is, in some ways it isn't. With Armada 3 late game, I found that you end up moving your ships based on positioning. Instead of saying, oh, I'm under attack, and in, in Sacrifice of Angels, I'll just send my fleet over there, and they'll take care of business. In this, it takes your ship so long to get to a point on the other side of the sector, you have to choose where you deploy your resources. So let's get started. Now, I haven't played a lot of the Federation yet. I played a lot of the Klingons. And we're going to want to get a research facility. So here's our military research facility, and here's a civilian. We'll start out kind of balanced. And you can see they've made... All new models for the ships and for the stations. Oh, it's so cool. All right, let's build a couple sabers. They're kind of our cheap combat ship early on. If you look really close, see if I can get zoomed in. You can actually see the, the little shuttles flying around. I mean, there's so much attention to detail in this mod. It's it really is fantastic. The game plays. I, you could expect from Sacrifice or Standing by. from Sins of the Solar Empire, where you can zoom all the way out and see, you know, the big galactic map, and you can command your empire from here. Then you can zoom in to the individual battles, you know, see the individual ships. So we're playing the Federation. Klingon hostility has turned into full-out war, and we're on a border sector. So we need to get some ships built. Now, one thing that Standing I've added by. recently. See if I can find, here we go, Fleet Command. This is Fleet Command. You can't build this station, you get it at your home world. If it's ever destroyed, it's gone forever. It allows you to call in a hero ship. Now I have two choices. I can summon the Defiant with Benjamin Sisko in command, or the USS Enterprise with Jean-Luc Picard. Give the word. So let's call in Picard with the Enterprise, uh, what was that, E. You should pop up on the outer sector. So what you gotta do is you click this command post, click the one you want, and select the planet you want it to spawn at. And now we have, I love this model. The Sovereign is just so damn sexy. Lieutenant, open a hailing frequency. Yeah, and he's got, they've got all the sound effects in there for all the voice actors. Make it so. It's really amazing. And their goal was to bring back the feel of the Armada series. Like, look at that. Isn't that just amazing looking? The models are super high quality. Get the dramatic flyby. This is Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm geeking out so bad about this. This Lieutenant, mod. It's open so a fantastic. All right, so we'll form this up is our Captain fleet. Picard of the USS Enterprise. Let's get some research going. Some civilian research. 
Now, all the research trees are being worked on. The Federation, I think, is the most complete one. I think the Klingons are also complete. I've been playing them, and I've really been enjoying it. Uh, and there's definitely a different feel for each side. So the Feder... Wow, okay, the Federation gets trade right away. Now, the Klingons actually take a little while to get to trade. And the Federation has far more research than the Klingons do. Which makes sense. I mean, the Klingons aren't all about open a hailing frequency. scientific research. They're about going out and kicking your ass. So let's do what the Federation does best. We'll take a couple of Status these report. Novas. These are our scouts for the Federation. All and I can just right-click this, and they will auto-scout. They will go explore the galaxy in search of new life and new civilizations. <laughs> We've got our command group, our combat group here. Just like normal Status sins, yeah, you can have them auto do this for you and they'll fly around the sector and they'll go to all the individual places that you haven't explored, so pretty badass. Here we go, we're about to find out exactly what's on this planet. Scouts have found a colonizer or a asteroid. Got a few pirates. Now the pirates have even gotten some love. They've actually, this is a ship from the series. This was kind of the catch-all ship from Star Trek. They would use it for like everything too, so... At one moment, it's like a Bajoran cargo ship. The next moment, it's a some type of super battle cruiser from a hundred years ago, and it was the same model over and over. Sometimes they'd even paint it <laughs> in the uh, next generation, which was pretty. It was pretty bad. It was pretty noticeable, but I love that they kept that. And then there's, you know, different versions, and you'll see that level of detail. Here's something I really like. Oh, he warped out too fast. Yeah, they've got the little, the flash when the ships go to warp. Oh, we got a gas giant here, all right. So one thing that we are going to need, I think I can build a capital ship pretty early on, unless I've used up too many points, which I have. Oh, I have to research all my capital ships. Wow, all right, what's the earliest capital ship I can get other than the hero one? Ambassador class, so we'll go ahead and do the research for the ambassador class. And maybe the, hmm, the Centaur class approves this vessel for construction. We can't mess around too much because I did put the computer on hard. And if you've ever tried to do commentary while Unable playing to comply. of the game, it isn't easy at all. This is Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise. All right, so the fleet is formed up. I'm thinking we'll Make take so. this small asteroid kind of moon status report so the fleet is moving i've got them on fleet move together so they're going to line up Lieutenant, open a hailing frequency and warp as a group all sections report Let's go ahead and actually create no no don't no. create a Make fleet don't retreat status report now watch this i love this effect as they line up to go to warp Haha! <laughs> oh, very classic Star Trek. Give the word. And now to battle. Research complete. Now the hero ships don't actually level up. The sovereign does get fighters though, which is cool. It gets the runabouts, which are going to be our first line of attack against this unknown pirate threat. And like you can see, these the effects are all there from this series. Unable to comply. They've got this amazing shield shimmer, which changes based on the faction that's actually being shot. So the Federation's is this bubble shield of blue. These pirates have this kind of... Well, their shield's down now, so I'm just slamming torpedoes into them. The, uh, the Klingons have a red shield. You'll see the shimmer of the effects. It's pretty neat. The torpedo spread from the Sovereign with the Quantums mixed in. I mean, the level of detail. They're huge fans. These guys uh, are such big fans of the Star Trek franchise that they make the perfect group to make this mod. So I gotta give a shout out to the team. I gotta give a shout out to Max and Mindwipe. Uh, the audio, the visuals, the gameplay, everything is really coming together and he's been able to do this in only a few months. Now these guys were on the same team that worked on a Star Trek Legacy mod that I never played it and I haven't played that actual game but I heard the game was pretty much broken out of the box and what they did was they modded it to the point where it was at least worth playing after the developers had just given up on it. 
So I think it was Ultimate Universe mod. And oh, there, look at those explosions. Oh yeah. Now when the ships, I better turn on my my HUD. <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Now when the ships actually die, like let's say the Sovereign exploded right now, you'll actually see the wreckage. Oh, it's just so cool. Awaiting orders. Like I said, I'm really geeking Extraction out over this one. Report. Helm, new course heading. It's such a good time for a uh, a Star Trek for a Trekkie to be playing mods for sins because there's two great ones out. Oh, it's so great. So we need colony vessel, so we can start colonizing stiff. Actually, can I get yes, the ambassador. Ambassador is the colony ship, uh, I believe, for the Federation. Let's see here. A support ship that excels at assisting its attended fleet uh, and is able to colonize planets. Fantastic. Fairly cheap, inexpensive, and these will level up unlike the hero ships. But the heroes start pretty strong, and we'll have another colony ship so we can divide the fleet up a bit if need be. So it's time to get some more research done. Because we are going to be engaging the Klingons sooner than I'm re I'll be ready for. Torpedo turret access. No, we want resources. And we want trade hub. So that's going to be the next point. Ready for action. Get those trade hubs up and running between Increased these two planets. Oh no, my little scouts are being chased by... What are you? Nausicaan Raiders. So that's the other great thing. The pirates have been replaced with Nausicaans. And look at the model on this ship. Anything. And the texture. I love the texture of this. I actually like this a lot better than the Star Trek Online's color scheme they've got. I think it's more like plated. And these guys have more of a Research complete. brown rust colored look to it. And they have their weapons too. All custom set up. Oh, here you go. There's another one. My personal favorite side for this has to be the Klingons. It really is. They're <laughs> they are kick ass. They've got Mar. If you ever watched DS9, um, the they've got Martok. Who's one of my favorite Klingons? They've got uh, Chancellor Galron, who I'll be fighting in this. Hopefully. Alright, so the Sovereign and his little support fleet should be able to handle this. And we're getting into range to colonize our first moon. And start getting those resources really coming in, because we gotta upscale our, our fleet production. Or we're gonna be in deep shit. Prep all systems. So that's colony ship. Colonization there we was go. Successful. Big old federation symbol. Do a few upgrades here so we can tax it. And I'm going to do some civilian research because we really need to get those resources going. Now we need three of these to get the next level of mining. And we're broke as a joke. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some resources. I really want to get this interstellar trade going. It's such scouts a difference from playing... Oh, scouts have hit up another planet. What do we got? Yeah, they can't actually colonize that. And wow, okay, there is a civilian fleet at this planet that needs to be dealt with. A hostile fleet. The Novas are pretty quick, though. He should be able to get out of there. All sections stand by. Keep running, dude. Novas also have the ability to re reveal mines, because there are cloaked mines in this, and they can take them out, which is pretty, pretty useful talent. All right, so we now own it. Let's get the colony Prepare ship over the there. All sections ah, the ambassador is done. Now this is a nice looking ship. Oh man, what was the Enterprise that was an ambassador class? I want to say it was a complete. it was B, Enterprise B or C. C? Maybe it was the C. Oh, they're gonna get on me for that one. <laughs> Ship at full. Like, how do you not know this? This is information you should know, Shaq. Station so the Centaur, complete. what do you do? A light frigate armed with many rapid firing light weapons that excels in defense versus strike craft. Alright, so this is your fighter killer. Let's build one of those. And I think we should do some more research. Some military research, if possible. And unlock a new ship, the Miranda. Ever seen Wrath of Khan? That would be the Miranda that he takes over. Found a colonizable planet. All sections report. 
scouts have the construction vessels. Planet. Be ready for anything. Now I was doing a playlist. I was doing a playlist. I was doing a, a, a let's play on my personal channel, all about. Oh, oh crap! Found the pirates. <sighs> Zoom in this. Oh, my either scout just died. Oh yeah, he died. He's dead, Jim. Come on, dude. I know your shields are starting to fail. Kick on those engines. Outrun this guy. Being chased by a siege frigate. Oh yeah, he got away. His lineup speed is really fast, so. But we're gonna need bigger fleets to take on these larger planets. Uh, why don't we own this planet though? Lieutenant, open a hailing frequency. Join up with the fleet. Engines to full. Actually, Elm, just go straight there. We'll the send all, all ships to Cromoyas. Cromosis. And you know what? While we're at it, let's rename the Federation colony to Earth. That way we know which one our capital is. And it's just more interesting when the Prepare AI the attacks Earth. Prepare the Research colonists. Complete. We'll get in range and actually take the thing. Ready for action. Don't have the antimatter. They've really, they've changed the uh, the resources, so you've got credits, which I think they always had. Then you got uh, tritanium and dilithium. So everything is just they've gone out of their way to make it Star Trek in every way. I love the UI, and the UI changes based on who you play as. So if you're playing as the Romulans, you'll have that green UI. The Klingons, you'll have that red and black uh, with the Klingon symbols all over it. The um, it's, it's definitely cool. The other side you can be able to play as is the Intel Borg. An and in a after-release, I guess, expansion for a mod, which is an interesting concept, uh, they will have the Cardassian Empire, which will be very cool. All right, so we're going to have to pop these. Oh, he'll be dead before he gets in range. Unable to comply. The fighters are on him. The fighters are no joke. I mean, you can't ignore these guys. They will chew up your ships if you let them. I played in a multiplayer match with them, and I had a, uh, as Klingons, I had a couple fighter groupings, and I would pick and choose this my enemy's support ships before they even got into range to attack me. And I would have, like, half of them dead before he would get into the actual fight. And that's a big boon to you if you can take out his support vessels. Excellent. Where's the be ambassador? You should be here by now. Come on, dude. Get in the fight, man. What's your All sections report. The Merrimack? Be ready for anything. I'll make you the Arizona, because that just sounds weird. The USS Arizona. Get in there, dude. They need your Engines help. To full. <laughs> I love the little warp out effect. Every version I played, and they're constantly updating this, so I actually probably have an old version of the beta, but every one of them, they, they keep tweaking the graphics to make them just a little bit better. Alter course. Make the lighting look a little better, you know? Okay, let's get some more logistic capabilities in here and get some more civilian research so we can start taking over more territory. Need to get these research done. Class B and Class P settlement will allow you to take over ice planets and this looks like uh, the lava planets. Let's go ahead and buy that. And what did we have? I think we had a lava planet, didn't we? Yes, we did. We have a Class B. So let's make that the priority. So we'll take over this side of the sector and lock this down. And this should be really, actually, if we can push out to this planet here and this planet here, that'll give us two points of defense and a lock in this entire sector here. And really focus on defending these two planets as a fallback point. Then push out farther is what I think the plan's going to be. All right. So we've got our first centaur. Oh, look at that ship model. Planetary. This is the anti-fighter one. Alter course. Very cool. There it goes. It'll warp. Pew. He's going to join up with the fleet. So we can't actually colonize this. Be ready so for anything. Let's form up the fleets. Ship at full readiness. Research complete. 
and move you Hi. down to this planet. Since we're doing the research, we take the planet as soon as we are able to kill all the pirates, and hopefully we'll be able to do that quickly. Helm, new heading. We should be able to colonize it. And while we're doing that, let's upgrade our infrastructure some more. And I would like to get the trading going. That's what I was doing. Right, trading. Trade post. First trade post being constructed. Look at that. Get the trade extractors going. Station that one's good. Empty. This one needs a trading outpost, which I have the resources. We'll go ahead and invest in this and get the mining facilities operational. Oh no. So, since Engine I've been ignoring stable. the pirates, we have a pirate raid coming in. And that's no good. Planetary research. And I complete. just oh no. Ready for action. Stay there. We got pirates in the area. That's going to have to be dealt with before we can move in. I'm thinking a couple of Mirandas. So Mirandas are, let's see here, a, sm ah, ah, can't talk. a small, quick hybrid ship capable of damaging enemy engines, slowing their overall speed and turn rates. So they're a debuff, speed, or they're a debuff ship with phasers and photon torpedoes. How do they compare to the Station Centaur? Complete. Wow, the Centaur does a lot more phaser damage. The docking bays. Hmm. Oh, wow, yeah, but the Centaur is also twice as much. So... We'll build a couple Mirandas and a couple Sabres. Sabres seem to have uh, be fairly inexpensive. Get a good mix going. Now, to the fight. To the battle. Station complete. Ships are starting to take some hits. Aw, oh, yeah. So, command mode. I love this. You hold Alt, and you can do this in the normal Sins game, and it'll give you ship ranges, or ability ranges. You can see shields, Awaiting you can orders. see antimatter. This character, the ship right here, Awaiting has orders. no antimatter currently. Its hull is in the green, though, and his shields are slowly going down. Lieutenant, open a hailing frequency. Now, the heroes, Station at least in this complete. version, don't have abilities, but they're going to have abilities. Station Some complete. really neat abilities. And you can kind of get a rundown of what those abilities are over on the ModDB page. The link is down below. Standing by. Station complete. Alright, so that ship's done. Once he comes back into range, somebody will toss a torpedo at him and he'll be finished. Be ready for anything. Uh-oh. So the pirates are saying they're going to take... What planet are they going to take? Fresh for the Taken is all I read. Standing by. Station complete. I don't... Oh, there they are. Oh, you bums. You bums. I'm actually not prepped for you guys yet. Acknowledge Starfleet. All right. Understood. Well, we've got a fleet ready to go. Awaiting orders. We'll call this the secondary fleet, and they're fairly fast the because they're mostly small ships. We'll dispatch Alter them course. to deal with the pirates. While our primary fleet Station engages complete. the enemy over this dead rock. Our planet is under attack. Give the word. Alright, our planet's under attack. That would be this one. They're not stopping though. Steady as she goes. So what are you guys up to? Alter course. Ha, <laughs> they've got actual, like, machine guns. I believe these guys are actually from Sins. These haven't been replaced yet. No, they're attacking my trade ships. Those bombs. You know, with this screams, we need defenses is what we need. We need phaser turrets. Let's arm up some phaser turrets to defend our territory. What are you? Oh, you're my colony ship. All right. They're focusing on my colony ship. Hopefully the build guy will get over there and start building the damn turrets. Let's get the colony ship out of here. Helm, new heading. Ah, here comes the support fleet. So we'll check on our primary fleet. They looks like they've locked down. Wait, there you are. 
Looks like they've won. All they've locked down this report. territory. Be ready for anything. We'll get our capital ship. Sections report. Ooh, who is leveled up? Anything. Let's go ahead and give you. Remodulate shields will allow your shields to restore 37.5 per second. Shared warp field. Expands a low level warp field around the ship. Enemy friend. Any friendly ship inside the field gets speed boost. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool. Long range scan. All right, so long range scan. It's a planet. Oh, I can scan any planet to see where my enemy is. As Station cool as that is, complete. I'm thinking survivability early on is going to be far more important. Engines to full. Ooh, we made contact with the Klingon Empire. This is one of their cheap scouts that they built fairly early on. Fighters almost got him, too. <laughs> Run, you Klingon bastard. You will not bring great honor to your house. To your house. Ship at full readiness. Holy crap, Ola. All right, so the primary pirate fleet. Looks like they got their ass kicked on the way here. But they outnumber us greatly. So these turrets better be online or we're in trouble. Yes. Cool. Get the secondary fleet over here. Standing by. Give the word. Secondary fleets here. Turrets are operational. We should be able to win this. I know Klingon turrets are strong as hell. I'm hoping the Federation ones are equally as powerful. Sadly, I don't have the research for those torpedo turrets, so let's get that knocked out. What is that under? You think that would be defenses? Torpedo turret access. Here we go. Repair yard and outposts. We'll get into outposts a little later. While we're doing this, let's get some more research done. I'm really slacking on my research. Station complete. Which isn't good. Research complete. Material refining. What does that do? Oh, refinery station. Wow, they get the refinery station two researches in. As a Klingon player, I normally don't get this much uh, resource-based stuff so early. Excellent. Defense force is one. We've got a Klingon scout in the area, but not really a threat. All sections report. Primary fleet has taken over our new planet on the other side of this sector. Ship at full readiness. Check the health of our ships. Awaiting orders. Yeah. Sadly, these guys have seen better days. Kind of beat up, but half health. Research. Complete. So that's going to have to be dealt with. Because the next two planets are really well defended by pirates. Alright, so we'll build some more ships. We'll prep Planetary for research the attack. Complete. And push on. Hmm. Actually, I'll need some more military research going. I really need to get new ships up and out. See, it doesn't. All it says is that it proves the vessel for construction. It doesn't tell you what it does, though. You actually have to go into the menu to do that. Ah, oh, there's the Galaxy class. That needs to be a thing. I think that's going to be a goal next. Get the Galaxy up and running. Research complete. Right now, we are broke. Broke is a joke. So a quick way to see what's costing you money and what's making you money, you can actually put your mouse over the resource that you may be having trouble with right now, or on credits. You can see in the bottom right, I've got two planets in the red, Manbria and uh, something else, <laughs> Dorestris. Manbria is right there and Dorestris is right there. So what I can do is I just colonize these two. That's why there aren't very many, not a lot of credits coming in because the population isn't maxed out yet. Station. This one's only got a population of 39 out of 50, and that's going to go up over time, and that'll bring more credits in. We can also do... See, I've already upgraded my infrastructure Station. as far as I can Complete. with those two plants. There's nothing I can do there. Well, you see the white line on the screen. If you played Sins before, you know exactly what this is. That's your trade route, and you can extend that by building more trade stations. And the longer that line gets... Research. Complete. The, uh, the more money you'll make from the planets involved. Oh, there we go. Everybody's in the grade now. So I say let's do that. Let's extend that line. We don't have one on the homeworld. 
No logistics slots. Did I max you out? Oh, man. I maxed you out. I'll have to destroy one. Oh, man. Now, I don't have to destroy one. What I can do is I can build a station here with the trade capabilities. So let's go ahead and do outposts. Now, one really cool thing about the mod is you can build outposts and you can build star bases. And there is a difference. Outposts are cheaper. They aren't as strong as a star base, but they do give you that kind of on the fringe defenses that you can throw out there and upgrade Complete. like a star base. Complete. But if you really want to lock down a planet, say you've got a facility that's making you tons of money, well, that is when you drop down a star base. And the star bases are freaking huge. So we'll go ahead and put a trade station here. And did I already build my... Now I have. This is gonna be a profitable sector because it's got quite a few of the mining facilities, or it will once I finish building them. They've even gone in and made custom mining facilities for each side. Which is pretty cool. So let's speed up time a little bit. Intel reports an impending pirate raid. We've got pirates inbound. Now, oddly enough, Station in multiplayer, complete. I know the guys that I play with love to send the pirates after me. I like it. I actually prefer them to do that. Um, I'll never tell them that. Research. Hopefully they don't watch this video because I like to use my capital ship and I'll level him up off the pirates because the pirates are fairly easy to kill unless they come in bulk, which they have been known to do. Let's actually Steady move the goes. defense fleet up here. See, we've got our colony ship actually taking over these little refinery plants, these, uh, these mining plants, since you can't colonize a gas giant. Look at this, though. Look at the ship, or the ship, this, the planetary models. I got to give it to Ironclad. Station. They've done a great Thank job you. keeping this game up to date. Pirate raiders are on the loose. I remember when people called this an indie game when it was in development. I was like, oh, there's this game coming out from this little developer. It's like, yeah, yeah, it could be cool. And now here it is by. years later. I'm still playing the thing with, you know, open modding support. This is why devs need open modding support. It's totally worth it. And they keep updating the engine and adding more graphical capability, which is fantastic. All right, let's get a repair yard going. Let's get some defenses moving. Required. I know I'm poor. I'm very, very poor. I'm going to speed up time a bit. Station complete. So these episodes are probably going Research to be about complete. 24, 25 minutes a piece. Um, I think that's where I'm sitting now. And we will do a multiples until I finish this because I really want to play this mod. I'm in the beta. I want to show you guys how awesome complete. it is. I was going to do a traditional spotlight, but I thought, you know what? Why not do a let's play, interact with you guys a bit? It's fun times. Something that's not Fallout. For just a little bit. Be ready for anything. Still Fallout's coming. Gotta play some Fallout. Helm, new so, force oh, heading. crap. All right, well, we can't leave with pirates in our sector, so let's get the fleet engaged and over there. Standing by. Guys, you know where he's going. All just wait course. for him. Fleet 1 and Fleet 2 are trying to rendezvous to stop the pirate incursion. Fleet 1's probably about to engage. If Standing pirates by. don't go to warp, which Engines they did, looks like they're going to be raiding this planet. Those bastards. So we've got to move Fleet One. Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise. Get in defensive position over there. Here come the pirates. All right, this is the game running at normal speed. Pirates are moving fast, trying to raid some planet. I think in the back or something. Not sure what they're doing. Oh, they're attacking my trade post. Idiots. <laughs> All right, so that was their scouting party. I'll bet anything there should be real ships coming. Yeah, phaser turrets can handle this. They don't even need my help. But I'm still betting. There's, yep, there they come. Here's the real pirate attack group, the Nausicaan Raiders. That was just the scout Enemy group. Engaged. And they're warping in, full in number. So, here they are. Here's fleet number one. Fleet number two should already be there. Engaging the enemy. Let's watch it all cinematic-like. Rushing into the defense of the planet in our sector. Have you no honor? Tell 
takes the big ships a minute to line up, which is their biggest weakness, I think, especially when you're trying to retreat. There they go. And the pirates are right behind them. Ship at full readiness. Right into the battle. There's fleet number two. All sections report. So let's get the heads up display back online. And see actually what's going on in this battle. Give the word. Be ready for anything. Taking up the stragglers from the initial attack, and then we've got the wave of Nausicaan raiders, which are actually fairly powerful. And you'll see these waves get bigger and bigger the more the pirates get funding, just like in normal uh, sins. So, come on, gentlemen. Take these guys out. Oh, I love the effects. And here we go. I think they turn toward us. I <laughs> the Miranda. <sighs> Alright guys, well that wraps up this episode. I'm gonna go ahead and let this battle play out. Pretty sure I've got this one in the bag. Especially with two capital ships in the field. This is a good scene to end it on, I think. Teach these pirates to come into the Federation space. Oh, ah, it's just so fantastic when you see the giant battles with the Klingons and the Romulans. We haven't even engaged the real enemy yet. These are just the pirates. A minor, minor annoyance, if you will. <laughs> oh, the Nausicans. Yeah, I say that until they show up with like 50 ships. Oh, no. Give the word. All right, guys, see you in the next episode.